Here we go. Over towards the ramp is where the party gets started. So much damage. That is great grenade play straight out the gate. But let's see. Kenny S is going to have a couple more players to shoot down, but they cool their jets. They're going to hold off here in ramp, holding on to what is basically the middle of the map here on ramp, uh, waiting for any CTs to make some moves. Difficult part for the CTs is just knowing when they need to pull all the rotations down to the vent, onto the floor, and help out Jax. And Jax is going to be the first point of contact as it looks like OG are going to commit. Could be very difficult to try to wrap heaven here. Jax has the wrong angle on the ramp exit so far. We'll see who makes contact. It's MBK, and he, oh, he nails the shot. So now it's 3v3. And it's never what you want with the retake. So Kenny S versus Montu here on Double Doors is going to be crucial. And there we have it. OG swinging back man advantage and extending it some. Amanek, he's not even coming out of the smoke yet. Poor guy's tagged to 56. So crisp USPs is what he would have needed, but he'll find none of that. And he is out there in the wilderness right now. Issa has already crossed down into lower. Oh, he's come back up from Seekers, clear things out a little bit. Jax, nice catch that headshot just off the corner. Ooh. Wow, such a small angle to play with. And he's oh. been so efficient. A fantastic round from Jax. Four frags off of him. He okay, well, let's see if anything else goes wrong. There's a chance here for Issa. He has the straight up duel down ramp. Unfortunately for him, that's going to cost a lot of his health. He sits on 37, switching over to the AWP and missing the bullet, allowing Nexa to clean up shops. Here, that's going to be all they can do. So we'll see if this cross hey. ends up doing anything for them. Kenny S known for this position, as was brought up on the desk as well. Standing behind these boxes. I mean, he welcomes the fact that they are taking Outer Yard. But here he goes. He's going to be challenged by two. So traded from Montu. And a 4v3 is where we're left. Susceptible, perhaps, on this A site, seeing as we do have Valda starting to wrap around on Heaven. But Aminek's going to get into position. <gasps> Offset crosshair, though. That's not going to help. Oh, and he's got a teammate as well. So they can get full control. Alexi B might on a good angle. Oh, unlucky. Can't hit that mm -hmm. shot. Could have been a critical one. It's now 3-2 to two in favor of G2 when it could have been the opposite. Oh, Valda's going to hear those footsteps close, though. Bombs thrown into the open and Montu 10 seconds oh, mm. denied to Nexa always oh, drops off onto the side he just it's a sound cue but where do they intend to go the bombs in lower so those outside players who are they trying to catch off oh man there's two kills coming in quick for G2 now OG the only thing they have going for them is the fact that they're so close to this B site so here we have it. They're going to try and push out Decon. You can see G2 swarming all around them. They understand they've got to be somewhere, but are they all in Decon? The answer is yes. And now two dead as Jax flanks round back and Kenny locks down sight. Clearly as G2 are on fire. That's one of those logos that looks good in flames. And Kenny, yes, looking great as well. Man, I feel like he's just leading with experience sometimes with these pushes. Yeah, very confident through their own smoke. Smoke's not walls, as they say. But there's a little something, something. MBK swinging it with a kill of his own. But what is the situation? Someone's going up to the T roof with 30 seconds remaining. He's maybe prepping for a flash for upstairs. Oh, and it could be a critical entry, but it goes the way of Hunter as he defends the A site. Good thing he got that fast trade, though. Valda could still bring this bomb into the A site. Issa's looking to pinch in through Mini, but Aminak, he's got that smoke cover as his two teammates still stand above. <gasps> Great call. They've dropped bomb down vent, and they're going to plant it B. There's no way to really stop this. Despite Kenny S having eyes up early, mm, he's gone down. Now it's going to come down to the rotates 2v2 and they catch Valda as he tries to cross back towards Decon. Nathan Schmidt can't hit the headshot. Nice. I mean, things got weird for Macaulay Culkin after, but uh, <laughs> this is in the movie I'm talking about. Little Molotov at the feet of Alexi B. He is rapid when it comes to running these plays, whether that's hopping down vent as quick as can be or trying to get out her. But here's Kenny S from hell. Swinging the stick like Satan. Only gets one. Two players incredibly low for OG. So they are standing on shaky legs. Wobbling at the knees, perhaps. But here's Jax trying to wrap through lobby. And he's caught. That's going to be an excellent position for OG to be in. Four versus three at that minute mark. We've seen him do good work once they got okay. behind the bomb site. He's actually a little bit uh, scared of ramp. So this is, I guess, good for OG that they've, they've kept him on a toes. Oh, and he's going into lobby. Yeah, as he comes back, back a bit late. It's uh, going to catch him off. Pl Dodging. Bomb is going to get planted. Things get a little bit dicey here for G2. All right, we've got enemies behind enemies behind enemies' lines. 
And we've also got the bomb plant, so that's so crucial for Nexa to pick up this kill. At least they know they've dealt with Issa. It is even numbers, but not even health. 4 HP for Alexi B. And the utility starts to soar forward here from G2. There's a frag on Nexa. If he were to underhand that into dark, Alexi is gone. But instead, he tries to throw it deep, and it does nothing. Valda peeks wide, goes for a second, but Kenny's ready. And Amanek now in from Decon's going to try to pressure from the other direction. It's a great peek from Kenny, but he doesn't clear the second player. Mantu, he stops Defuse and takes Kenny. OG have found a fourth round. The room's starting to pick up here in London. We've got fire and smoke immediately on this A site. We've also got two players down secret. You only get here fast. Why not exploit what's working? Three players. Oh my god, they're multiplying. <laughs> yeah, they're they're infecting the place. They're they're now turning corners. No CTs to be spotted. Once again, they've had they've had very little resistance in these attempts. And they've had chances. I mean, 8-4 score, but... Oh, well, how is it that there's no rotation at all? Usually Kenny's on top of this. No one's actually corroborated this information. They've got a hold on to Ramp, no problem. But the bomb's going to go down 5v5. What? Interesting. Oh, it's, man. I, mean, I can say OG have gone to secret and downstairs. Like, you know, like at least five of these <laughs> rounds, right? How many rounds do you think? How do they manage to slip this one through? That seems like a glaring issue. That's a weird one. I mean, happily taken by OG. Props, they played the speed, they played with tenacity, and they may try to do it yet again. Valda and Issa, shoulder to shoulder, opening up with that 5v4. Now, Kenny's not gonna waste time. He has already thrown the AWP towards the base of Secret, but Alexi B getting a frag elsewhere has this conga line turn back tail towards A, and suddenly they walk into Amanek. Kenny's trying to pinch them, and he does find Valda inside the what? fire! Jax, you're a madman! So what do we think about this one? Alexi's out first, looking around outside by himself, and uh, Kenny's in secret. This could have been one of the great options they could have applied to like almost all the rounds. Jax was awesome in ramp, so you know, I'm sure he's happy to be left alone. Jax ends up dying, as I say that, in the ramp, and uh, now ramp can be cracked wide open. Talk about a jinx. Yeah, lower's quite, lower's in danger. Big time. They've already got Hell blocked off by the Molotov. Hunter's gonna be down here on the site, ready for them. And Kenny carves one off outside before they can get this hit rolling, but NBK extends away from his teammates, so it's a solo peek. And Kenny has dodging shots in the doorway. He's got a teammate, and Amanex had six Elsetswa, but ooh, Mantu tries to go a bit too far. Low HP for Issa. Oh, boom! Good night. <laughs> Look how close all these T's are together. Oof. NBK gonna spot five and take one. Flashbang to his eyes. Here comes Alexi. And he gets snapped back on. Wait MBK, a sec. we got three. a round. We have a round. Three P2K frags, all headshots so far. And he knows Kenny's near. He's got a new target. Yeah, you can see him his locked His best in. friend, Kenny S. Ooh, come on, come on. I like a little pistol round ace, but not gonna happen. Can Amanek swing this back? He went with the P250 flash smoke. My personal favorite. Minute on the clock, the flank's inbound. And if he's not careful, it's gonna hit. Man on cross is gonna serve as distraction. Issa slowly working into this. Amanek's aware. He's gonna spot oh. it. That's a headshot in. He's on for it. He's he can do the 1v3 now. Come he on. Get the back now if he wanted to. Click clap goes the P250 long distance to the back of hell. It's a tense situation here for Mantu. Oh, he's done such a good oh. job. Such a good job. Oh, they might not know what's about to hit them. Yes. Tension. Ooh. Oh, come on! What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Up next, the MP9. Inside uh, event, tucked away here, but you've got two directions to look, and it's a 50-50. It's all in the name, huh? Hunter. Tracks him down. Now, we will see if Mantu can tuck back behind Dark. We do have G2 on the cusp of this B site. It's only Issa upstairs, working around alone. A little bit of utility support here for Montu. He's got players locking him into position. Ooh, wow, he gets away with one that he probably shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. But now the question's asked, can Valda and Issa make this retake happen with just the Fomus and MP9? No. Mm -mm. Let's cross attempt again. MBK is now working here. I don't know with Montu or not. Yes, they're both spotting the cross, and here it is. A little bit of damage to come in. 
They're making a lot of noise, which is a bit unfavorable when you could Ooh. walk, but that's... Wow, Nexa holding all the way back. Interesting. To catch MBK off. That's a good call by him. Yeah. NBK could have just slipped in with the T's. But here's Mantu firing a shot from ramp. We've got Valda actually above the bomb site. He's going to have a lot of pressure on him now that the opera is smoked off. It's going to be tough hold on this B site, and he is caught sleeping by Amanek. But here's Alexi B and Issa, both players down from vents. <gasps> he gets that no scope. He got that no-scope ramp, and he keeps himself alive. Unfortunately, his whole team dies, and it's a 1v3 left over. Yeah. It's been OG to give up those opening kills over and over again. Alexi B spots yeah, carefully and then falls back. It's just the, the P250. And he'll go just be shrouded by the smoke inside of me. Next, uh, goes ahead and grabs that opening kill. As we can see, a bunch of tourists here inside of lobby sightseeing. So G2 are going to have to sink their teeth into the A site, and they'll find it for free. They sent them uh, fake inv invitations. They said the party's over on B, and meanwhile they went to A. Every single CT went into their safe position for them. Yo, this feels like high school all over again. <laughs> <laughs> you can just shoot everybody in the side of the head, and that's what G2 are doing right now to OG. It doesn't seem like they're going to be able to find a way out. We may be in the last round of the game, or maybe OG reinvent themselves live here on the spot. The and they have to defend the upstairs site. The Big trades push. are coming out. NBK, good job for Mini. He's got another player to duel off of. That's three frags for him and a Molotov on Jax. And 4K from NBK before he finally hits the dirt. Can Amanek swing this back? Ooh, close headshot. And he predicts the position of Alexi B. Oh, but the off from behind. There we go. Got tons of different levels here mm -hmm. that OG have to be able to beat before they can win the game. Here's Alexi B fully blind. Whoa, whoa. G2 just trying to force their way through this A site. At least they've gotten Kenny down vents. They have two players in position, three even, to deal with these flanks because they don't know how many players actually got down. Oh but they've tapped that bomb. So you know these CTs are already on top of it and it's halfway ticked. Double ramp flank is huge, but still there's a chance. If Issa can clutch this, he's going to swing open the double doors and down he goes. Amanek in from behind as G2 pick up Doesn't map the one. Kevlar to couple with it. But no problemo. We've got G2 Esports already making their way up from box towards Cat. Alexi B is trying to see if there's anything to be spotted, but no. They've gotten this far without a cost. Now, that smoke goes out. It's going to go and cut off mid to B. We've got two players for OG dedicated to this B bomb site. They're going to start spamming those pistols here. They're getting a little nervous. They're getting a little worried. Next up, high flash. Four players are looking to push past, and it's Alexi on ramp to get gushed immediately. NBK's died over on the B site, but it's CT's falling all over the map. Another flashbang sets up Alexi, and he's done a great job of getting into cover, but he is wrecked. And we are left in a 4v2 retake attempt here on A. Call it if you want it. Call it up long. Oh, whoa, tough spot. Forced to take a fight he didn't want to take, but he's ready. Oh my god, he's got two. two. Yeah, the yeah. 1v2 now, and now, Issa will come up to bat. He should find one in the open. If it had been clean, maybe he gets the second, but here we go. This is what you love. Pistol round 1v1. He takes to the skies. Oh! oh! And Hunter Kit. dies. Kit's there. It's desperate. He's going to sprint to the bomb, hop on top of it. Oh, London, hold your breath. Yeah! He's nailed it. He's on his feet. They're, they're holding on to those. And oh. What the hell is that? Kenny S flick upwards. What an obtuse angle into the door. Oh, man. And yeah, why wouldn't you go B after that? He's going to try to hold it yet again. Oh. They're giving him chances to separate 1v1s and then the distraction from door. Nope, cannot hold it anymore. Amanek and Hunter combined for the trade frags. They cripple this B site and bomb will go down. And it looks like Valda will have to be a bro and take down two to protect them. Yeah, it's going to be... We'll see how late they come, though. They've got two, so that means they're probably going to come out a little bit sooner. Maybe one of them will come out first. Double molly. That's Goose and Ramp compromised. Issa's going to have to retreat. Frag grenades flying at him. Oh, he walks into it. Self-immolation. Jax, he gets a headshot, too. Valda's only able to lock down that one player. So long falls, Ramp crumbles, and this A site is taken by Storm. There's a world where these low HP players for G2 don't find those entries so easily, but that world is gone. 
just make sure to catch that last player or just make sure no one's there. And if Issa dies, they can play retake and, and hope Mantu gets kills. But instead, Valda comes running out of the pit to try to help, and then they both get backstabbed because of it. Right. So, so his position's compromised. I don't know if somebody's asking for help from him, but he probably was better. Yeah, you do appreciate how well executed it was, how well paced it was, and it was the right choke point to attack. There was no one there. Just another great call. To stop him. Yeah, another great call here from G2, from Nexa, from the squad. Another great shot here from Jax. Once this comes up, we'll have action. Yeah, they're looking to really screw this setup. I mean, they seem to have an understanding that G2 are very much corralled here. Alexi, not the time to be playing with nades. Issa opens up with the first kill. Hunter and Kenny S all dropped by headshots, but here's a response. Two kills immediately out from the tees. And Nexa now needs one more. We are in the clutch, and Vald is not going to have any cover. Oh! oh! Come on! All we have on Cat is Jax tucked into the corner here. Now the action on the oh. cross draws attention. Jax finds timing, screws over the offer, but still NBK and Valda are able with a couple kills. Flank still in, but now they know about it. And Issa trying to fly through the flames. He's going to be taken out of this one. Bomb planted by Hunter for Catwalk as NBK is looking to clutch a 1v3. Swapping over to the M4. It's going to increase his chances. Low health on Hunter. Eight. HP, a single shot would push him out of this round, and then it's just going to boil to the 1v1. But MBK understands where they both are. He's going to go ahead and creep and crawl down to just so few bullets. Dude, we've got so many players piling oh, up here yeah. on Cat. They can smell each other. Is uh, looking to give support here. First player does fall to Alexi, but then instantly it's two trades back from the T side. Mantu, he's going to have to. Oh, oh later. Commit to that. Jax slaps him, and now it's going to fall on Valda. Great first kill. A second headshot connects, and we're back into the two versus two. Yeah. He can reset here. He's looking for another peek, and he has drops off the scope. Flash comes out to help him cross. Bomb will also make its way over. Kenny Ooh. spots an opportunity. Falls back, drops a second shot. Valda up to three. And here comes NBK. <gasps> there goes NBK. Amanek just needs to connect one bullet between the eyes of Valda. Just one. And he's looking. Seven seconds, drops his pistol. <gasps> Ooh, had a chance, Has but now he's got a brush. Closing the gap. Uh, Gets him. And G2 find 10. Another Again. 1v1 in the bag. Definitely did. Definitely did. Double offs. Ooh, not even going to get a chance at early kills. It's Amanek with aggression into CT spawn. He lines up those two players. It didn't even look like they wanted to fight. I think on the plus side, we the holes in their setups right now are apparent. Oh, okay. Another body falls, and these CTs have been splattered. For the long haul. For a long haul. So let's see it. Come back and be a beautiful thing, but so can the pistols. Kenny S and Nexa, oof, and Hunter. Gonna be able to find themselves three kills quickly. That aggression through middles focused on lower tons, but here comes the A-Rap back from Valda. And Jax is still flirting with the idea of committing to this fight. Hasn't swiped by the bomb just yet. Oh, I was gonna see two mushroom cap CTs waiting for that peak. The aggression was key, but here it comes. A lineup on the B site. First man down, favoring G2. Molotov and a flashbang meant to kind of force these players into separate corners, and that's exactly what happens. They have to lay off. Mm. Smoke's now down. They can push out long, and this is a free rain now from the top of mid. A bunch of T's about to get shot in the back of the head. There's one down, potentially two more. They're through the door. They're also getting spammed through the door. Damn, give them a chance. Here comes this up. Whoa, you kicked the bees hive. It tries. It's damnedest, but... Jack snaps back two, pushes Valda into the one versus three. He doesn't have that bomb control, but if he could just get a kill here on the B site, that would be a start. Woohoo! Not bad, not bad at all, but so low on health. Yeah, and getting low on time. Attempt coming out of OG, another rough buy, but they'll manage. They have to. They're going to try and trudge down long. They sprint for an attempt at a win here. NBK was alone, now he has support. Kenny S, M4. Rattling some shots and then retreating into cover. I understand why. The numbers are here for OG. And when you've got nothing to lose, magic can happen. Molotov hits the bomb site. That's going to prevent any kind of a plant for the time being. Kenny decides to go for a fight and a follow up from Mantu. Five versus two. This is OG with a little bit of life in him. Yeah, funny how they all just like lost their duels one by one. 
And they take it quick. There's no one there. What I like about that explode out long is in this instance, yes, it works. But in a world where that went poorly, the only first kill would have been NBK. You know, it's not like there was a bunch of bodies right behind him. He, it was just very much him on his own. Mm -hmm. So let's say he dies. Let's say that gets shut down. At least OG didn't use this Hail Mary of a long push. Full strength rifles. Here we go. Again, what could be the last round of the game? Five attacking long this way. Kenny gets right up in their faces. Shotgun with that off. Oh. Jack pushes through a flash. Gets yep. a kill and stays alive. He's still here to fight. And they've got to go on. They've got to try and trudge along. Oh, it's Valda to swing it back. And with Alexi already being on such little health, if Valda dies in this moment, it's all on Mantu. They unfurled the scrolls for the tale of Mantu versus Kenny. And it is on the cusp right now. Oh. Mantu's going to best him. Peeking left eyed into Mantu. Kenny's been dropped. Now Animek. Aminek, 100 health. There's a flashbang on Hunter. He just threw it. He's trying to set this up. It goes perfectly. He takes down the first one, but the Opper trades again. Oh, hold on. Are they going back to Cat? They if could. Hunter peels back to mid, he potentially catches this bomb if Alexi oh, has gone a bit too far out. Mantu boy. walking up now. Some noise is being made. He's going to come out for the fast flank. They're not expecting this just yet. And it's the bomb that's behind, so oh he has God. to commit further. Alexi is low, coming. ladies and gentlemen. He's coming. There's a chance for this. He's and he gets them. those kills to 1v2 to close it out. 16-6.